there we go. A very good evening to you all. Hope you're all doing okay. It's incredible. Here we are yet again, another Sunday, the 6th of December. It's incredible where time goes, isn't it? But uh, hope you're all doing okay. It's uh, been another week. But, uh... <laughs> it's... Uh... Are you, have you all got your Christmas tree up? I can see quite a few comments there that, uh, that you've got your, your cross, Christmas trees and stuff going on. I've got mine up. Um, you can just about see it, I think. In fact, hang on. I'll tell you what. This is great with this. Look, there it is. Just there. I can I can twist this around a bit. I really need to get a better stand for my uh, phone and stuff so that I can sort of put it in front of me and you can see it. See me forward, the full front all of me <laughs> no one wants to see that um and then obviously the uh, wonderful christmas tree behind but uh ah dear there we go uh trouble um that is on um the shadows workout 12 i believe um it's on that shadows workout so if you go to leosden.co.uk or ebay or anything like that look for shadows workout 12 and it's on there so uh, there we go did uh, you all enjoying yourselves? You're having a good time? Have you all got yourselves a nice stiff drink for this evening? For uh, some wonderful music. Let's go back in time, eh, shall we? Because it doesn't get much better, does it, eh? Right, let's play the song that started it all off. There we go. The song has started it all off there. But, uh, oh no, sorry to hear that, Mandy. Hope you're, uh, I hope you're doing okay. It's, uh, yes, it's terrible, isn't it? There's a lot of it, a lot of it about. But, uh, hopefully it won't be too long. We'll have a vaccine and, uh, 
Ah, Chubble, I'm not using the VST plugin tonight. Um, I'm literally, I tried to get it working, but um, I the other laptop and stuff I couldn't couldn't get working. So I've gone back to my traditional setup tonight. If it don't, ain't broke, don't fix it, as they say. Um, I'm going into my Zoom G3X and into my uh, MacBook, and I'm using AMP modeling in Logic. Um, and then the mixing with the backing track and everything going into my PC. So everything you're hearing tonight is entirely computer-based other than the Zoom, which is supplying the echoes. So I hope that answers your question. Um, the VST stuff is wonderful, and I really wanted to uh, really wanted to use that tonight, but uh, unfortunately I haven't got a decent enough spec Windows laptop to run it, and my computer that's capable of running it is needed for doing everything else. So uh, unfortunately, yes, I can't do it, but never mind. I will uh, I will try and show you all of that very 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 soon i promise it's uh, it's a wonderful setup and it sounds absolutely fantastic the vst package if you haven't already seen it check out my last video there's a link to it check out my atlantis video there's a link to it well recommended but uh someone just asked for a christmas song and i'm so glad you did because this is a bit of shaking stevens to get you in the festive spirit
There we go. Nothing like a bit of good old shaky to get you in the Christmas spirit. But uh, as you noticed, I had a little mistake in that. Um, unfortunately, I don't play that song enough because I can only play it one month a year. But uh, <laughs> it's a brilliant, uh, brilliant song. Steve, check message on your phone. Um, oh, what have you sent me, Jeff? Have you sent me a message? Or has someone else sent me a message? Is it a Facebook message or a normal message? That's, uh... <laughs> oh, Cavatina. I, do you know what? It's, uh, it's so much easier having the computer, everything in front of me, because I can just make little adjustments without moving around too much. But, uh, right, who sent me a message? Was it you, Jeff? Oh, you, you did send me a message, Jeff. Let's have a look. Uh... Hi Steve, if you're on tonight, can you please lend me a hundred pounds? No. <laughs> oh, that's very. I, I will. I will try and do that, Jeff. I will certainly. Uh, yep, yeah, I'll do that for you. Absolutely. Um, but uh, how are we all doing then, other than the, other than the COVID situation? Are we all, you all keeping okay? You all doing okay? It's uh, it's crazy, isn't it? What another waste of a weekend. Um, well, that was very, very nice today. I did see my little girl for a little while, which was very wonderful. But uh, let's have a quick look. Have, if I've got it to hand, I know Ken, Ken asks me about this one quite a lot. And Oh, I don't know what happened there. I must have caught a button. Oh, because I've typed in. I've got a, I've got a button assigned to mute it, and obviously when I then type on something, it cuts it out, which is real pain when I'm trying to do something like Sweet Dreams that's got an M in it. <laughs> now I know Ken likes this song, so uh, I will, uh, I will. I'm going to try and do it. This is a bit of Sweet Dreams. Oh, that was entirely atrocious, <laughs> but never mind. <laughs> oh, yellow by Coldplay. You like my accent? Wow, I didn't know I had an accent. 
I was just English. <laughs> and a very bad English at that. <laughs> but, uh, oh, it's a, that's a beautiful song, Sweet Dreams. Check out my video on YouTube for the, the proper version of that. <laughs> but, uh, there we go. Let's have a look. What else have I got in this list of songs? Oh, Wakita's, Wakita Lyman is a brilliant song, isn't it? It's, uh, what have I got on here? Oh yeah, I'll tell you what, let's go back to the early days of the Shadows. Uh. Thank you very much, Josh. It was a good, uh, it was good fun putting that Christmas video together with me uh, getting out of bed and... <laughs> oh, I always like to, uh, like to do some funny parts with the Christmas videos just because it's... Uh, was that a bit of the silent treatment? <laughs> uh, I think I'm still here. Yes, I'm still here at the moment. So it's all working okay for the minute. Oh, do you know what, Steve? Uh, my Zoom. I, I was going. I was going to use the VST today, and um, but so I couldn't couldn't get it working. But this this Zoom, I've had this on loan from a friend of mine for quite some time now, and um, it's just it's just a brilliant piece of kit, isn't it? It's um, but uh, right. Anyway, let's go back to the early days of the shadows with this one. A bit of shindig. There we go, bit of shindig there, fantastic song. But, uh, ah, Mandy, you need to have some uh, ice cream. That's what you need for a, a throat that's on fire. Let's hope you uh, you recover okay from that, because uh, it's rubbish, isn't it, uh, this COVID situation. Um, Wesley, this is a Squire Classic Vibe 50s series Strat. Um, this is a bit of an old one now, it's about 10 years old. This is a Chinese one. They're now made in Indonesia. I haven't tried the Indonesian model out to see if it's any different. Um, but uh, yeah, this is just a, a great guitar. It weighs absolutely nothing um, and it plays great. It sounds great and yeah, it, it is just a great guitar. Um, I've got the classic Vibe 60s model as well and that is also a fantastic guitar. But uh, as I mentioned last week, I stupidly put gauge 12s with a wound third on that last week and um, it's not much fun to play again, so I'm going to take them off in the not too distant future and put 11s back on. But uh, there we go. So I hope that answers your question. I just noticed my horrendous spots on the side of my face. What's my other side of my face? Is it any better? 
Perhaps I should have put the camera on the other side. It looks terrible, doesn't it? <laughs> Uh, yes, Wesley, absolutely. It's a Squire Classic Vibe 50s Strat um, in Fiesta Red with a maple neck. And it's, uh, yeah, great guitar. I hope that answers your question. Uh, after COVID is gone, are you going to make any more gigs? I certainly hope so, Josh. Um, I was talking to the guys in the band the other day about... Um, about gigs and stuff, and I, I can't wait. Um, I mentioned on the, the previous streams, this in January this year, we were out in uh, in Finland just when everything was kicking off in COVID, and we had probably one of our best gigs ever. We, we went down absolute bomb, and it was brilliant. And uh, we then done a couple of gigs shortly after, and then uh, and then COVID took hold, so uh, destroyed everything that we'd, we'd built up, and but... Never mind, it was all good fun. Um, I've played one or two gigs up Ipswich Way, Josh. Um, I played a gig in, I want to say Ipswich British Legion, but it's probably not. Uh, I've played in Stone Market, I've played in Hadley, uh, Royal British Legion, play there quite often. Um, so I, I certainly get close to Ipswich, if not Ipswich itself, but... Uh, uh, yes, Wesley, absolutely. This is a 2010 model, um, but they are currently making them exactly the same as this 2020. Um, and you can even get a limited edition model, which has got the gold hardware as well. So uh, that's worth looking out for. I hope that uh, answers your question. But, uh, right, someone asked for Atlantis. I can't find where you were, so uh, I'm going to play that for you right now. Here we go. There we go, a bit of Atlantis there from uh, oh back in the back in the day. 
Oh, Josh. Um, when COVID goes, unfortunately, um, I was speaking to my good friend Dave uh, earlier on. Um, yes, I'd love to uh, love to meet up with Dave again and do a video and stuff. But uh, unfortunately, with COVID, everything going on, it's a bit difficult. Um, uh, Wesley, are you uh, are you based in the UK, Wesley? Because um, if you are, there was one on Reverb recently. Um, Reverb.com, I think it was. And one of these with the gold hardware and everything for about £300. So, uh, and it looked really nice. I was tempted to grab it myself, but uh, I have far too many guitars, said no one ever. <laughs> but uh, there we go. Uh, who have I got? Who have I missed? Um, but good evening to you all. Hope you're all doing okay. We're up to well, we've got 78 watchers so far. Just got down at 76. I must have offended two people. <laughs> but uh, no, it's fantastic to see so many of you, uh, so many of you on here watching and everything. It really is uh, absolute privilege for me to do these, and uh, it's good fun, isn't it? Let's face it. There's not a lot else going on on telly at the moment, is there? So. Uh, Right, so I'm going to play this beautiful little tune now, and uh, always dedicate this to Paul Webb. I don't know if he's watching tonight, but uh, this is a beautiful song. This is Themes of Young Lovers. It's a wonderful song, isn't it? Theme for young lovers there. But, uh, good evening, Anne. Hope you're good. Um, evening, Mark. Hope you're good. Jeffrey, Keith, uh, Guilia. It's absolutely wonderful to see so many of you uh, on tonight. Uh, Josh, where do I get the backing tracks for my songs? It entirely depends, really, on the song. Um, so the songs... The Shadows ones all come from um, Leo's Den and they're on either the Shadows Workout or UB Hank or various other ones like that. 
Um, but uh, the other ones that are more traditional songs come from the likes of karaoke version or uh, YouTube backing tracks. I sometimes get because they're uh, some of them are quite quite good. I uh, hope that helps. Anyway, let's move on. Someone's up, Elvis wants up tempo. Okay, fine, but you can't get much more up tempo than this next one. Dedicated to my good friend Mr. Stuart Watts. This is the Savage. we go a bit of the savage there yeah, wonderful wonderful song oh steve the lost city um do you know what i keep meaning to do that one um because uh but i need to get myself the Armin 610 pedal first of all before i do that but uh i will do that one day i promise i definitely will do that at one point oh california blue i don't think i've got the backing track guys i'm afraid not uh, certainly not on this laptop um that's a bit of a problem. I'm sort of restricted to songs I can do because they're not on, uh, not on the laptop. But uh, so unfortunately, it's a lot of the stuff that uh, has to be really. But uh, but anyway, um, I'm going to do his next song. This is uh, dedicated to Mandy and uh, our good friend Jeff Christie asked for this. So uh, this is dedicated to you, Mandy, and hope you feel better very very soon.
Oh, my darling, you look wonderful tonight. There we go, man. I hope that's cheered you up. It's, uh, it's a wonderful song, isn't it? A bit of Eric. It's, uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful uh, little riff, isn't it, Josh? Eh? What a, such a simple little riff as well. It's, uh, yes, it's good fun. Good fun. But I hope that's cheered you up, Mandy. It's, uh, Right, there is one song I do need to do um, tonight because it was my dear old dad's birthday yesterday, bless him. He would have been 76. Um, and I miss him absolutely dreadfully. Um, I wouldn't be the person I am today. I certainly wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for my dear old dad. So uh, I'm going to play a little bit of Dance With My Father.
we go. A bit of dance with my father there. Dedicated to my dear old dad who would have been 76 yesterday. He was an absolutely amazing man and uh, fantastic dad, fantastic granddad, fantastic brother. Um, he was an amazing, 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 wonderful person. And uh, yes, Ken, I know exactly how you feel. My uh, my dear old dad unfortunately passed away just two weeks before my own wedding. And uh, it's uh, very, very sad, but he'll always, uh, he'll always be remembered, certainly with me. Um, but there we go. So I hope you enjoyed that. But let's try and uh, try and liven things up a little bit now, rather than a bit of a sombre mood. This is a bit of Telstar. There we go, a bit of Telstar there. What a fantastic song. Oh, good night, Sarah. Take care, look after yourself. And uh, no doubt we'll uh, we'll speak very, very soon. But uh, right, what else have we got? What else have I got that I haven't played yet? Um, quite a few, so never mind. I'm gonna try and do this one, actually. Um, I'm gonna try and do this one, because uh, someone asked for this as a special request last week. I don't think they're on tonight, which is really annoying because I've actually <laughs> grabbed it and picked it out again. But uh, this is a cracking number by The Searchers. And uh, I think it was The Searchers. It might be The Seekers. I might be, I might be getting this wrong. I think it was The Searchers. Um, but uh, yeah, someone asked me for this last week and uh, I couldn't find it. But now I can, so now I'm going to play it. This is a bit of Don't Throw Your Love Away.
There we go. Considering I've not played that for a very, very long time. In fact, I don't think I've ever played it since I recorded it. But uh, <laughs> it's very, very strange. But uh, that's a beautiful track. Another. It was the Searchers, Ken. Absolutely fantastic. How's your DVD coming along, Ken? By the way, I meant to ask. I see you. Uh, you post the other day about it, and uh, hope it's all going okay. Um, I'm still looking forward to my copy. But, uh, <laughs> oh, Roddy, the Secrets of the Sea. Um, I do need to redo that one again at some point because that is a fantastic, fantastic song. Uh, but I can't play that tonight, I'm afraid. I'm really, really sorry. But uh, I can play this song, though. Someone asked this last time and something went wrong with the system and some song downloaded and did wonderful things. But uh, this is a bit of Blue Star. There we go, a little bit of blue style there. Wonderful, wonderful track. Take care, Steve, look after yourself. 8 a.m. there, wow. That must be, uh, I'm assuming you're on the other side of the world because it's nine o'clock over here. <laughs> 9 p.m., that is. In, uh, but uh, look after yourself, take care. Uh, trouble, I don't, um, to be honest, on my Zoom, I only use probably three or four patches most of the time. Um, I use this one, E9, which has got a little bit of echo on it. And that tends to cover most bases. If I want a little bit less echo, I go for E8. Which cuts it down a little bit more. And then I've got some of the more specific ones for um, fl Flingle Bump, for example. Which probably isn't that one, it might be that one. No, must be that one. Can't remember which one it is. But I literally only use a couple of patches. In fact, this gets used more for uh, the volume pedal and the tuner and various other things. But uh, there we go. Oh, Freddie Garrity. He was an interesting character, wasn't he? He uh, 
the rapiers did um, back him for quite some time and uh, as Freddy and the Dreamers and uh, I was watching a film a couple of weeks ago uh, called Every Day is a Holiday on Amazon Prime if anyone's uh, on there and uh, Freddie Garrity was actually in it with the original Dreamers along with John Layton and uh, Mike Sarn and uh, a couple of other people and uh, it was actually filmed at Clacton Butlins which was uh, which was really interesting I love Clacton um, so uh, yeah there's often hear about the uh, you know, the Butlins camp that used to be there got knocked down in the late 80s, early 90s now, but um, some fantastic video of Clacton back in the day. So, uh, yes, well worth checking out if you're into that sort of thing. But uh, there we go. Anyway, what else forgot? Oh, I need to do this one, don't I, really? Um, so, if you haven't seen my latest YouTube I've muted myself again. <laughs> oh, it's good fun. I really need to change that M button, don't I, and put it somewhere else. <laughs> you were made for me. Everybody tells me so. But yes, no, I'm going to do this song. I hope if you haven't checked out my recent YouTube video, please do somewhere. And a um, little bit of a festive favourite. I'm going to do this one now, which uh, I loved doing. I really enjoyed making the video. It was good fun. But... Uh, here we go. This is a bit of Merry Christmas. Everybody, sorry, not everyone. <laughs> it's Christmas!
there we go a bit of Merry Christmas everyone everybody even not there <laughs> it's uh, there we go oh I've got there we go even Brian hope you're good oh Roddy round in the Cape you know what I need to re-record that because the uh, the video I did wasn't very very good on that one the sound was horrendous but uh, I will I will do that very very soon Oh, high noon, Malcolm. I don't think I know that one, unfortunately. Um, who who does that one? I don't know who does that one. But uh, I do know who does this one. This is a bit of Shadoogi. Happened there, something had a bit of a moment. One of the uh, something must have got a bit haywire. Let's try that again. It does that from time to time when you're using the uh, interfaces and stuff, they have a bit of a moment. So, apologies for that. Let's try again. I do love that song. But, uh, there we go. Oh, do you know what, James? It, it would be wonderful, wouldn't it? Do you, know what, do you know what I think would be a great idea? And if Bruce, Hank, or Brian are watching this and you pinch my idea, I'm going to sue you. <laughs> I would love to see um, something like an audience with the shadows, a bit like they used to do back in the day, the Cliff and that used to do, where Brian, Hank, Bruce and the Shads get together for a one-off television appearance and, you know, celebrity audience and just, you know, play some tunes, no pressure, nice and relaxed. I'd love to see it. I can't see it happening because Hank's in Australia and COVID and they are, all, unfortunately, all getting uh, getting rather mature ages. But I would love to see it. I think it would be an absolutely brilliant thing. And I think, bear in mind the recent charts, success of the CD and everything, 
I think it would go down really, really well. I'd love to see it, but uh, we, you never know. You know, fingers crossed. Let's hope and pray. But uh, I think, unfortunately, the Shadows documentary that was on back in May is probably uh, as near as we're going to get. But, uh, but there we go. What a fantastic band, eh? So many so many hits when you think it all started in 1958 we've uh, as a backing band for cliff um the famous red stratocaster in 1959 and and that was it wasn't it you know the the sound that gripped so many people and still grips so many people to this day you know it, there are so many shadows fans across the world um and i think they must be unique in the fact that they're the only band i've ever known certainly there's there's no Beatles clubs all over the world, that's for sure, that meet up and play Beatles songs. There's no Rolling Stones clubs that meet up and play Rolling Stones songs. They are unique in that there are clubs dedicated to playing the music of the Shadows all over the UK. Um, there's some in Australia, there's Holland. It really is fantastic and it really is such a wonderful, wonderful thing. Um, I went to uh, anyone who's not in the club, any of the clubs who plays guitar, I would recommend checking out your local club. Um, if you go to a website, www.shadowmusic.co.uk, there's a list of all the clubs, or quite a few of the clubs there. Um, but I went to my first guitar club in, when I was about 15, 16, uh, down at the South End, the Friends of the Shadows Guitar Club. And uh, I got up and played a couple of numbers, really, really nervous. I was petrified, in fact, and I got up and played Apache and Wonderful Land, and that was it. That was all I knew at the time. Um, in fact, for a very long time, I spent my, I got my first guitar, and the only thing I could play from the Shadows was, and that was it. Just that. <laughs> that was it. Um, which was really, really strange. But then, obviously, I learned uh, learned the songs and stuff, and it's been really good. It's become, you know, I recommend that you join the if your local shadows club if you do play guitar it's very very well um recommended ken uh, gillam who is on here i'm um, i'm sure i know ken goes to some of the clubs uh, the amount of stuff you can learn the tips how to get that sound and everything is is wonderful but uh oh andy i've literally just played that merry christmas everybody um unfortunately so uh but, uh, oh, Dave, absolutely. I, I don't think any, any band has, has ever come. You know, the, the Ventures, a wonderful band, but I don't think they've got the, quite the same people meeting up to, to replicate it. And I, I'm not sure that... It's not because the Shadows music it e is easy. It's far from it. Um, to play it, to do it right, is, is very, very difficult. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I mean, if Hank, Bruce or Brian are watching this... Thank you. That's all I'm saying. Just thank you for everything. Because my life would have been very, very different had it not been for you guys doing what you do. And uh, it's, uh, you know, this wonderful community of people on YouTube that uh, play the Shadows songs and play guitar instrumentals and stuff is fantastic. It really is wonderful. And uh, yeah, I hope I hope we do you proud, guys, if you do what, ever watch this. It's. Uh, uh, Ryan, what is my favourite Shadows track? Or oh, it, it's a tough one. I I, it, I think it has to be Wonderful Land. It it really is just a magic magic song, isn't it? Um, <laughs> the Shadows wannabes. <laughs> yes, for those of you who don't know, in case you are interested, I do play in a band, the Wannabe Shadows, and uh, you can check out a Facebook page, the Wannabe Shadows. Um, and I'm also playing and going to be doing some gigs next year with a band called The Gold Shadows, um, with a Cliff As If tribute as well. So, uh, and we're going to have a CD coming out at some point in the not too distant future as well. So, uh, yes, The Gold Shadows. If you are interested in purchasing a CD, there's 14 Shadows tracks played by myself and the band. And uh, yeah, if you are interested, drop me an email, and uh, I'll see what I can sort out. But there we go. If I get enough, if we get enough uh, people interested, then you know we can we can do the CD and, and get it out soon. But uh, it's all been recorded during lockdown. We've all recorded our parts separate and mixed it all together. It sounds fantastic. I'm over the moon with it. 
But, right, I'm going to play a couple more songs now, and then I am going to say goodnight, because it's now 20 past nine here. But, uh, but yes, I tell you what, I am going to play my dear old dad and my own very personal favourites. This is Wonderful Land. I love that song. What a fantastic track. Good evening, Guitar Monkey Oldham. I'm assuming you're not old Guitar Monkey from Romford, so uh, greetings. Hope you're good. Oh, David, that must have been amazing to see. Uh, I'd, I'd love to have seen the original lineup of uh, of the Shadows, Tony, me, and Jet Harris. And uh... oh, absolutely, Jane. Oh, you go to free clubs, do you? Wow. I, I do love the Surrey Shadows Club is probably one of my personal favourites. Uh, I've not been to the South Coast Shadows Club. Um, where have, what Shadows Club have I been to? Warwickshire is amazing, amazing group. Um, bunch of guys. Ian McCutcheon, who does the Shadows Workout CDs, plays at that and runs that. Um, so that's very, very good. I've been to the South West Shadows Club, which is another place I really, really enjoyed. And I can't wait to get back down there again and see the guys. It's... Uh, but of course, I, my local one is the South End Shadows Club, and there's also one in Burnham on Crouch, um, which is over over this way in Essex as well, and the Kent Club as well, which is really really good. But uh, I do I, the Surrey Shadows Club is really really good, and I do need to make an appearance there very very soon. As soon as it's up and running again, I'll uh, make an appearance. But uh, there we go. But uh, right, so I'm going to do two more songs. So uh, this one, a few of you have asked for this one tonight, so I'm glad you have because this is one I normally screw up. <laughs> this is a bit of Peace Pipe.
There we go, a bit of peace pipe. In fact, I might actually redo that one this uh, this coming week on Wednesday. Um, 5.30 p.m. normally I put a video live on Wednesdays. At the moment I'm doing one on Wednesdays at 5.30 p.m. and on Saturdays at 4.30 p.m. Um, the ones in the week tend to be more of the traditional Shadows tracks and the ones on Saturday tend to be a bit something a bit different like the uh, this week's Christmas video but I might re-record Peace Pipe using the uh, VST plugins I know a few of you have mentioned that recently so watch out for that but I hope you've all had a fantastic evening thank you very very much to you all for tuning in it really is appreciated um, if you have enjoyed it please smash that like button if you have enjoyed it also please subscribe if you don't already um, and uh, it's been an absolute pleasure to perform again some songs from the golden era of the shadows tonight um, so I hope you all have a fantastic week stay safe take care look after each other it's nearly Christmas after all so uh, but uh, and sending best wishes to Mandy and uh, of course to my good friend Stuart Watts and his lovely partner Jackie and uh, to my good, very, very good friend Matt and Maria. I hope everything all uh, all goes, everything okay there. But uh, I'll leave you with this one because I know you all enjoy this one so, so much. But this is Saturday night at the Duck Pond, or about to be renamed Sunday night at the Reynolds household.
Woohoo! I got carried away a bit there. <laughs> there we go. It's uh, fantastic. Hope you all enjoyed that. And uh, it's good fun, isn't it? But uh, right, I'll do one more. One more, and that's it. <laughs> Dedicated to my good friend, Mr. Lovelock, who I haven't spoke to for a little while. And if he's watching this, I will be in touch very, very shortly. But uh, this is Foot Tapper.
Thank mm-hmm. you.